Kitchen Basics show, and now we're up to the basics of blades. Tough, tough shoes to follow, it's shoes right? to fill here, right? I mean, these are legends. Right. I mean, very little, oh my Follow an iron chef and Jacques Papin. So tough, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best. So, Roadmap what you're gonna do first. I'm talking about the power of acidity and how a lot of people think it's salt and or fat that really makes flavor, but it's right. really the finish of some acidity, some citrus or some vinegar, and almost all dishes that you crave are finished with a little bit of acidity. So the dish I'm talking about today is one of my favorites that I make for my kids. It's a broccoli top pesto. So Yum. what I've done is I've just taken uh, broccoli and just shaved with a knife the top of the broccoli. And that's it. And I'm just warming that up in a little olive oil with some Beautiful, chilies and some pesto. pine nuts. I mean, look at that. That looks, smells amazing. Smells really great. And then I have some whole wheat spaghetti that I've, I've cooked over here. What a great trick for parents out there to get your kids eating a little more protein and fiber. Just switch over to the whole grain pasta. Honestly, they won't know the difference once you mix it with sauce. Absolutely. And right. also, uh, that, that's sit. another. You got this, right? Yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. Sit. It's another tip too for parents to sort of, or maybe a great basic tip to sort of hide some vegetables, right? If you chop them that's up small right. enough, they can't um, you can get your kids this. to eat things that maybe they wouldn't be so um, in tune to eating. So now my pasta's finished, but not quite. So what I have here is lemon, real basic, right? But if you think about so many foods, does a piece of fried shrimp taste better before it gets some lemon or lime on it? Tastes yeah. better with acidity. So it's all about acidity. Bobby's steak, where you're putting the vinaigrette and Abs the acid from absolutely. the vinegar. Absolutely, yeah. power of acidity wakes up the palate, especially if you're cooking competitively on any of these shows. It's a way to sort of make your food jump. I know Bobby's food is all about high acidity. So the lemon, you can see also I've cut in an interesting way, right? Chef, this is ticking um, only because that burner's I, broken. I'm gonna, put it, I'm gonna put you back Oh, here. we're good, no worries. Move back there. We're finishing up. Okay, great. The ho I'm, I'm on the road, home field advantage. That's home all right. Home field advantage. Um, so what you see, I, I cut the lemon so that there's no seed in it. So I just can really just squeeze some of that lemon in there. And that's just gonna finish it. And even if this just happened at the table, that's a great tip to make sure that your food just jumps off of the plate. <laughs> 